This is why we call it paper bark. This is one of the worst woody invasive species in southern Florida, and particularly southwest Florida. When it comes to plant experts... So these capsules will open up and release many thousand seeds. FGCU's botanist Dr. Jay Horn is among the best, and he knows better than anyone how harmful these trees can be. It also can spread enormously fast, has an enormously high, uh, fast growth rate. He's talking about this. Malaleuca kincanervia, also known as the Australian paper bark or tea tree. And its history in Southwest Florida goes way back. That was near the Correction State Park. The Correctians were the first to introduce Melaleuca to, to Southwestern Florida. But over a hundred years ago, the Correctians had no idea that this Australian tree has the ability to dramatically transform wetland landscapes. Essentially dry them out. So Melaleuca has capability to basically change the level of the water table in wetlands, also has the ability to change the underlying soil as well. That means over time, it outcompetes and even replaces native wetland trees like cypress and slash pines. Like here along Hanson Street in Fort Myers. And here along Three Oaks Parkway near Alico Road. And here along I-75, you can really see how quickly Malaluka can come back, even after being cleared. With these saplings along I-75 growing back after being cleared just a few short years ago. Melaleuca is uh, one of a few species that has the potential to radically alter the very look of Southern Florida. And here in Lee County, there are laws restricting the development of privately owned wetlands. But over time, that designation can change if the owner can prove that the soil, hydrology, and water table have dried out. And while it's illegal to plant these trees, it's easy for a developer to benefit from what they do to wetlands, intentional or not. I would definitely say it's made it easier because in areas of native habitat where Melaleuca has taken over, it's basically destroyed the special and unique ecological properties of, of those areas. What's worse, climate change could be expanding the range where it can grow. With less and less freezing events happening, Melaleuca can spread further and further. Alex Amador is a graduate student at FGCU, studying the genetics of the tree and how multiple introductions of it have expanded the gene pool, creating a quote, super invasive. These species that we have in our northern range, they're no longer going to be blocked by geographical barriers like Lake Okeechobee or the Florida Ridge, so they could eventually meet and they would mix together and if they breed together and produce seeds, that could lead to heterosis where the offspring have a more uh, enhanced capacity to be invasive. So they're a super invasive. It's very similar to what happened with Brazilian pepper. So far, efforts to stop it have been met with mixed success, with programs treating them with herbicide and even importing insects from Australia to feed on them. But so far, the only fully effective way to eradicate it is concrete. One of the ways people do it is they cut the tree down and then they put herbicide on top of the trunk and that should kill the plant. But then you have to worry about the seeds that are gonna re-sprout. And one of the ways that some people take care of that is by uh, essentially paving over that land. Reporting in Lee County, Alex Howard, ABC7.